As we noted yesterday, American taxpayers pay a fortune for the money no object intelligence community. And what do they get for that money? Well, the very pinnacle of the intelligence community, the director of national intelligence, Avril Haines, has just released a report on, quote, the hiring and retention of minorities, women and persons with disabilities in the United States intelligence community. I know diversity is my priority. When you're putting together a team to go into Raqqa and figure out where Al Baghdadi's lurking, and that certainly looks like one diverse team they have over in America's intelligence community. Alas, as the less craven media quickly figured out, that is not, in fact, the CIA's elite diverse wet work unit, but a stock photo you can download for free from Shutterstock with the title Portrait of Multicultural Office Staff Standing in Lobby. Unfortunately, that picture wasn't sufficiently diverse for the director of national intelligence because the report is also supposed to be about persons with disabilities. So the world's most lavishly funded intelligence community found a couple of other stock pictures of a lady in a wheelchair and a blind guy with a dog and photoshopped them onto the wings of the group not terribly well. If you zoom in to the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see the blind guy's feet are casting a shadow, but the lady's feet behind aren't. Uh, but that's because the guy is actually walking down the Champs-Élysées to buy a café au lait and a pan au chocolat in 1997, and the gal in the wheelchair is at a garden party in New Zealand with Princess Margaret in 1978. However... The Photoshop experts of the intelligence community did change the color of the guy's suit to fit in with the intelligence community dress code. This is exactly the sort of attention to detail I would want if they were sticking me in a false beard and putting me undercover in a souk in Jalalabad. What I don't understand is why they didn't just Photoshop into the Shutterstock generic diversity pick Trump's director of national intelligence, Rick Grinnell, who was an actual, authentic intelligence community gay. But according to the left, seriously, he doesn't count as gay because he wasn't confirmed by the Senate. Got that? America is now so thoroughly credentialized that you can be a practicing homosexual and it doesn't count unless your homosexuality has been confirmed by the Senate. Does that need the filibuster or is it just a straight up and down? You know what's always the depressing thing for me about these diversity reports? Muslims, transgenders, whatever. But where are the Canadians in the supposedly diverse U.S. intelligence community? Oh, no, wait, we've just got the new edition. And looky there in the back row... Oh, and there's my fellow Torontonian, Deborah So. She'll be right here in a moment behind the guide dog. Oh, and no wonder Tucker needed to get out ahead of that NSA story. There he is, me tooing the gal at the New Zealand Garden Party in 1978. Does any hostile foreign power need to be scared of a U.S. intelligence community lacking the Photoshop skills of your average middle schooler? Or is that what they want the Russians to think? Deborah So is the host of the Dr. Deborah So podcast and author of the trenchant and insightful book that you should get, The End of Gender, all about sex and identity. Uh, Deborah, are you quaking in front of the photoshopping skills of the U.S. intelligence community? <laughs> well, thank you so much, Mark, for having me. Oh, my God, I love this. I have to say, I thought this story was absolutely hilarious. And I could have probably done a better job of photoshopping on the original photo with a pair of scissors and a glue stick. So absolutely. Regarding your, regarding your point about the director, actually, on the Dr. Deborah So podcast this week, I talked to Andrew Sullivan, who is a conservative journalist who is also out as gay. And we talked about how, according to the far left, gay men do not count as minorities anymore because they are doing well in society. So it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, but apparently that's the logic. What I loved was this Shutterstock picture, which it, it was captioned uh, a group of multicultural employees standing around in a lobby. Uh, and I can't believe this is the first actual entity to uh, t tell uh, a minor employee, go out and find me a picture of uh, assorted uh, multicultural minorities standing around in a lobby. In other words, it's just cheap formulaic virtue signaling. And the fact that it now extends up to the deepest of the deep state uh, bureaucracy in the US 
just I think it really testifies to how ridiculous this whole thing is. Yeah, it's a little bit worrisome, and I do think that representation matters and that people with disabilities deserve to be represented, but I'm not sure that this is the way to go about doing it. And I would also think that uh, an intelligence agency would be more focused on the security of the nation as opposed to diversity mandates, but maybe that just makes me a little bit old-fashioned. It probably does, Deborah, and I agree with you but, uh, on representation of minorities, but the idea that you just go and pick a stock picture and say, OK, that's our minority quotient. Thank you so much, Deborah, and uh, Deborah's excellent po podcast is called the Dr. Deborah So Podcast. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.